And at this point, Malaysia's borders are open for international travel. Would you reconsider closing them again? No, absolutely not. This is, of course, never say never. Um, the caveats are Delta Cron, something that's highly transmissible and highly virulent. But barring that, we must give a signal out to the world that once we are open for business, once we have reopened safely, yes. we're not going to backtrack. Uh, you mentioned, uh, Minister, that you just returned from Geneva and you were elected as one of the five vice presidents of the World Health Assembly, which is the decision-making body of the WHO. What then are your priorities for Malaysia in this role? I think we want to make sure that any reforms to the global health architecture, amendments to the international health regulation, for instance, are done in a way that makes sure that in the future pandemic preparedness is equitable. One of the greatest tragedies of the COVID-19 response was inequity when it came to vaccine distribution. Uh, and that resulted in a lot of countries having to wait, a lot of countries having to deal with waves of hospitalizations, deaths, when the distribution was not fair and equitable. So I think it's not just about the timely sharing of public health data, which a lot of the focus is on, but it's also the sharing of intellectual property, patents, and a much more equitable distribution system in the future. And reform of the healthcare sector and crisis proofing, crisis -proofing uh, hospitals, medical staff for the next, the next healthcare crisis or pandemic, that is of paramount importance. Where is Malaysia in that journey? I think we've done well. What we did was we had to mobilize the entire healthcare system. It wasn't just the public healthcare system. We had a lot of capacity in the private hospitals and we decanted a lot of non-COVID patients to the private hospitals. By using all the resource of, resources available, we were able to manage the pandemic. And I think going forward, we need to ensure that investments in resilient health systems continue. Health ministers like me, our biggest fear right now is that post-pandemic, the ministers of finance will forget us. They've poured a lot of investments into and health. That's a very real concern, it isn't is it? When Absolutely you consider that concern. the priority globally sure. seems to be on defence spending, yeah. not on health, yeah. not on education, not on social development. But coming out of the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, we have the non-communicable disease epidemic, people with high cholesterol, people that this is a huge ticking time bomb for that Malaysia. That speaks to the demographics. Absolutely. And an ageing population in five to ten years. So if our colleagues who run finance still regard education, uh, uh, healthcare as an expenditure, not an investment, then we would not have learned from COVID in making sure that we have resilient healthcare systems.